it was one of the uh, sporting moments of the summer. Just remind us about that moment in your career history. Um, yeah, I pretend like I don't like talking about it, but I do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was an incredible day at Headingley. Um, obviously, um, when we won the game, but it was looking like we weren't going to, and, and I think it, it captured the nation a little bit um, from I think it captured the world. Yeah, I think from the sort of things that I've heard people talking about it and the way they've talked about it, um, it's it's been a big thing for a lot of people. So um, yeah, it was amazing to be out there with Stokesy. Obviously, he played the innings of anyone's lifetime. Um, so um, yeah, it's just amazing to be out there with him. Whenever you're at the pub or something and someone tries to get one over you, do you just say, yeah, but remember that one out? <laughs> like just do a cheeky little mic drop? <laughs> no, I don't. But maybe I should. You should. <laughs> maybe I should start doing that. Um, but no, yeah, it was, um, it was great to be part of. And I think it's um, kind of made me a lot more um, motivated to be part of many more moments like that for England. So, um, yeah, I can't, I can't believe that it happened, but um, I was very excited to, to be part of it. And how did it feel afterwards? It must have been pretty surreal. Yeah, definitely. I think um, it was, and it still is a little bit. Um, the, in the dressing room afterwards, um, no one could quite believe what had happened. We kind of watched the highlights straight after um, and uh, relived it all again. And um, it was just a, a great day to be part of and obviously kept us in the ashes at that point. It was one all. Um, and, yeah, it was uh, part another part of an amazing summer obviously with the World Cup final which I was watching as a fan um, and couldn't believe that game and then um, sort of the next amazing moment and I was out there at the end. Yeah. You were part of it? Yeah. Um, you mentioned it captured you know the whole country's attention. It has had a ripple effect hasn't it of, of people being drawn to the sport now? I think so and that's yeah the whole summer um, has been great for English cricket. Um, the uh, obviously the World Cup and then um, the Specsavers Ashes um, afterwards, um, straight after, all in one summer is is a is a huge summer of cricket. So that's amazing for for the nation. And then to have those amazing games where kind of um, you're just in awe of them, aren't you? You're just watching in awe. Yeah, and and. I think it's nice to see people getting excited about cricket again. Um, I, I remember when I was younger in 2005 watching the Ashes, um, an amazing uh, summer and that got people involved in cricket and, and buzzing about cricket and I think we needed that again and, and that's definitely happened this summer. How old were you uh, in 2005 when you knew you were so falling in love with it? 14, um, kind of, yeah, and watching Triscothic who was my sort of hero. Yeah. Um, incredible and kind of thought oh I'd love to do that one day um, and and to think that it's actually happened is is crazy. Um, as well as getting attention across the country and the globe uh, the attention continued didn't it on Twitter from your fellow teammate who decided that you needed more recognition not just for your ability but your incredible uh, lenses. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That helped you out a little bit. <laughs> yeah it's become a bit of a thing everyone's uh, quite um, excited about the glasses <laughs> and the glasses cloth and uh, I mean out there in the middle I was just trying to uh, do everything I could to, to see the ball as well as I could. I was sweating and I obviously got um, no hair so the sweat's dropping into my glasses and I was um, just trying to keep everything clear and then go on Twitter afterwards and people are setting up Twitter accounts for uh, a cloth and the glasses and they're talking to each other on Twitter and I was just like the mat the world's gone mad so um, but yeah it was um, it added a little bit of um, uh, British light-hearted comedy exactly yeah I think um, a lot of cricket fans are, are, are with that and um, yeah it was um, nice that people warm to the glasses as much as they warm to me. Yeah, totally. I mean, I imagine you didn't think as a 14-year-old kid with poor eyesight that you would be <laughs> making that moment in sporting history. Yeah. Well, I've seen that people have been dressing up as me for uh, Halloween, which isn't... <laughs> um, which wasn't sort of... That's when I was younger, <laughs> I wasn't thinking, 
I I can't wait for people to dress up as me. But um, yeah, it's um, obviously captured a, a few people, and uh, yeah, they've decided that that's the best uh, thing for them for Halloween. I mean, I would say that's the moment, right? So that's it's your a good scary, moment. scary costume, to be fair. <laughs> um, so what's next for you? Uh, well, yeah, we head out to New Zealand on Monday. Um, so we've got a, a two-match test series out there. So looking forward to that. And, um, yeah, the boys uh, are looking forward to that. We've got a few new guys in the squad, so that's exciting uh, for them and for us. And um, new coach, so um, exciting times.